What's up guys and welcome back. So I know it's been at least a couple of weeks since I put out a last video of uh, the last one we did at the old shop, but we are here at the new shop and I'm really, really excited to show you guys this place because it is a phenomenal shop. Everything is state of the art and it's all new equipment and everything is new here. So, and one of the biggest things is this is an AC shop. So you guys see those uh, stacks up there in the top? All my life, I've worked out in the heat in this business. And uh, when you come inside a shop like this, you almost can't even believe it's true. So unbelievable place. And I'm really, really happy to be here. And it's been a long time of me doing this type of a trade. And now I can really, really appreciate a place like this because I've suffered a long time at different places. So unbelievable with the AC on it really, really takes away some of that torture you have through the week of uh, dealing with that heat. So you, especially down here in Florida, you guys know it gets really, really hot. So you guys see the glimpse of that booth. And uh, I just wanna show you guys this first to get this video started off. But check this thing out here. This is a double wide Garmat downdraft. And you guys know that I was shooting at that last shop, I had two booths but they were away from each other. So I had to run to one and then come back to the other one. Well, this one here is both of them together. And this is a really, really nice booth, the way this sprays. And look how nice the lighting is in this place because it's all brand new. So I tell you what, guys, I'm really, really appreciative of this place. And uh, I can't tell you enough how much I like it. So we're gonna start off right here, showing you this. And here's one of the first jobs that I did at this shop. It was a Lexus, but check out how it has the curtain. You can, you can close this off. And I tried this today because I was painting these doors here and I was sealing them and I didn't want to blow sealer on the car. So I went ahead and pulled the curtain and sealed my uh, doors. And then once I got done, I went ahead and closed it back up and then painted the car. So this is a really nice feature that can keep overspray off the jobs when you're doing multiple colors or just your sealer and stuff like that. So this job came out really, really nice and I haven't told you what I'm spraying yet. So you see it looking good. And like I always tell you guys, a good painter can use any paint. You just have to get back in the groove with it because all systems are a little different, but job definitely came out nice and clean and uh, really, really, really excited to be here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you now into the mixing room. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. So this here is the mixing room and you guys see it, it's the PPG. So that's the system that I'm gonna be using now on this channel, the EnviroBase. And you guys know I've used this many, many years ago. I was spraying EnviroBase. I sprayed this for about 10 years. So I'm familiar with the systems and uh, they did upgrade the software on this. Now they got a whole new kind of software. So I have to get up to date more on this and they do have a new camera. So that camera, I've tried it out already. Really, really good. It's definitely a, an upgrade from the older one that I used to spray with. So, but we got the PPS and we've got all the stuff we need to produce a beautiful job, especially with this top of the line spray booth here. And I tell you what, I'm so ecstatic to have something this nice to work in. So I'm gonna keep it clean and uh, try to do my best here and do my best for the channel. That way you guys can grow with us. So let's go ahead and show you around the rest of the shop of some of the other equipment. So we're using all car liner equipment here. We got all kinds of uh, spot welder machines and also the, the regular welding machines here. But we're really set up with all the top of the line newest stuff. So it, these guys are also privileged to work with this stuff too, the body man. Not just do I have a nice spray booth and nice equipment to use. These guys all have top of the line stuff. So really 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 nice place and uh, i'll take you over to another section and show you something that's phenomenal hang tight all right guys check this out here for the body men when they're doing their frame pulling and the measurements they got the uh rack in a pit so it can lay down in the floor nice and tight and if you had to you could still have a car here without having that old school rack in the way taking up all the space but check this thing out here this wall is uh, phenomenal for a, for a frame machine. It's got all the brackets, all the measuring tools, all the clamps you need to do the new top of the line cars and hold down any vehicle in the right way. 
That way you can get a good pull on it and get a good measurement. And we have all state of the art stuff for that too. So unbelievable place. And I tell you, I'm really, really happy to be here, but we're gonna go ahead now and show you some other stuff they got that's really, really good to work with. All right, guys, and we're also using the Fest tools for our sanding, and that's to keep the cars clean and also keep the shop clean, because you guys know we're using AC here, and we wanna keep that AC unit as clean as we can because it'll ruin that. So we're using all dustless sanders, which is good for your health. Also, it's good to keep the car clean and we're doing these jobs, you know, from start to finish, bagging them up, keeping the dust out of them and just trying to really do a nice quality high end job on them. And we have the equipment to do that here. So let me go ahead and show you some more around the shop here. Here's one I shot today. We did the uniside and the uh, bedside, but check out that 2021 really holding a beautiful gloss on it. I used to use that clear a lot back in the uh, day when I was using PPG, but it is still a great clear. And I'll probably be shooting some of the 8150 because that's also a nice clear from PPG. So let me show you some of the racks I have to paint with and then my buffing area. So you guys know I'm a big fan of the innovative tools and we have all the racks that they have. That way we can paint all the cars apart because you guys know I'm a big fan of painting things apart to do a nice clean job and also to uh, speed things up because you don't have any cut in. So. Just wanted to show you the racks we have. We have all that also to do the job right. And now let me show you the cool area we have with the nice lighting so that if you do have to nib something out. So this here's my area to buff cars. If I have to do a little nibbing, it'll all get done here and then it'll go over to the detail section and the guy will get it all cleaned up. So definitely set up nice. We got good lighting here. That way I could see what I'm doing and uh, just a well-organized shop. That way we can maximize efficiency at this place. So. If I didn't tell you the name, it's called Mitchell Collision and we're in the Tampa Bay area. So I'm really, really happy to be here and I'm happy that you guys are going to be taking this journey with me here. That way we can grow with the channel and uh, start producing some really nice quality work here and uh, grow the channel with it. So stay tuned and finish watching me spray my first job and uh, leave some comments and uh, let me know what you guys think of the place. So